So like my money gets taken from me, but I don't get a GoPro back. I, I, I don't get it. Morning guys, or should I say afternoon, because I'm actually starting this vlog at like about four o'clock in the afternoon, 4 p.m. I'm starting this vlog. Bit bad of me, I know, but the weather is insane. It's like 23 degrees and it is just absolutely crazy. This heat is insane. So yeah, I'm just out really this afternoon, just having a little walk around and yeah. Not really much else to say really, just having a little walk around, enjoying this sunshine. Um, what sort of alleyway is this? Uh, council, do you want to come and stream it down maybe? Look at this! It's just literally... There's a school there. Kids are going to come up there, they're going to sting themselves on a fucking bramble. Well, this is going to be interesting for my hay fever. Hmm... Will this help? Probably not. Something a lot of people ask me um, it's to do with these vlogs. So like, when I'm out walking, for instance, like I'm doing right now, how do I make it so you don't know where I live? <laughs> like, I literally get asked this all the time. Like, all the time. And the answer's like, simple. It's just like, I don't film round where I live. Is that not obvious? Like, I mean, this is close to my house. I wasn't going to tell you where I live. It's close to my house, but it's not my house. It's not near my house in a way. You're not going to guess, though, where I live, because obviously, like, you're just not, are you? How? I mean, I don't know, you might, but that's a bit creepy, really, isn't it? Like, what I mean is, obviously, the people I know, as in friends that watch this, you obviously know where I live because you probably live in the same place where you've been to my house, you know where I live. I'm talking about you guys, you probably also know what town I'm from, from Leamington, in the Midlands, Warwickshire, but you don't know where my house is, so, like, that's what I'm trying to get at. People ask me all the time, people will find your house, why do you vlog outside? Well. I'm a vlogger, so I'm going to have to vlog. Obviously not going to tell you where I live in terms of my road, but... Why are you going to come to my house anyway? Right, anyway, enough rambling on. I'm going to get home now because I've got something kind of important and kind of annoying to tell you guys. It's really annoying. Like, it's super annoying to the fact that it's really frustrated. Like, really. Like, I've had stuff stolen twice. Well, this is something interesting. So, in my garden, we've now got a gym. Well, kind of a gym, it's not complete yet. So basically, it is the garage. Right, that's the garage over there. This is the back of it. And we are going to build a wall. Yes, we're gonna build a wall. Build that wall, build that wall, build that wall, build that wall, build that wall. Build that wall! Build that wall! Build that wall! So that wall is gonna like go like there, and then we've got here the weight bench, we've got a boxing punch bag thing there. Whew. Was a garage, now a gym. Get your memberships, $4.99 a month at the Watson Gym. That was a joke, by the way. literally just sits and observes the, the, the garden he just loves the stuff
please ignore this hair. In fact... That's a bit better, isn't it? So, earlier I said I want to talk about something and you're going to know what it is because it's a title of this video. Um, so, something of mine, again, has been stolen. And I don't know if you don't know, previously I've had my AirPod stolen. Um, you can watch a video somewhere up there. Um, click that and you can find out what happened to my AirPods. This time it's not my AirPods. And this time it's been done in a very different way. So what this actually is, is my GoPro. Not just my GoPro that was in my pocket, was in my bag, something like that. This GoPro was for sale on eBay. So basically I had a GoPro, it was like, I think it was a GoPro HWBR1 or something like that. It was like one they made, I think it was in like 2017 they made this GoPro. Um, and it's got like no screen in that. Um, pretty cool GoPro, really good quality. I think it does like 1080p 60fps or something. So it does some pretty hefty quality, it's a pretty good camera. But the good thing about it is it wasn't a model that GoPro really had that took off. It's not like a Hero 7, Hero 5, whatever. Um, it's not a particularly major good GoPro and it's actually now discounted. Hence why I sold it on eBay for literally like £45. So anyway, this GoPro it sold. Um, I don't sell faulty things on eBay by the way. Um, so, I, so I knew it was working because I've been using it to film stuff. Um, and yeah, I checked it before I listed it. I checked it when it was actually about to be sent off just as the buyer bought it. So I knew it was in fully working order and that's all fine. I'd sent it out, it'd gone off, I paid the postage, um, about four pounds from it, it'd gone off, signed track delivery, first class delivery to the buyer on eBay. So yeah, it all went off and I thought nothing of it. So I literally thought nothing of it. It goes off to the buyer and I thought, well, they're gonna get it. I'll see they've received it because I'll get the tracking information um, that they've signed for it when it's arrived at their door. So yeah, that was fine. I got all that completely fine. I thought, ah, they've received it. That's good. Um, so yeah, that all went well. Um, so yeah, obviously a week, a week and a bit went by. Um, just got to my own stuff in lockdown really, not a lot. Um, and then I get a message from the buyer, the buyer that bought the GoPro. This, this is when it gets interesting. So I'll, I'll read actually what she said. So this is what she actually wrote to me as a message on eBay. Hi there, I bought your GoPro and I just received it um, the other day, which it wasn't the other day, it was literally like a week ago she received it. This is where I start getting a bit confused here. She says, then goes on to say, upon opening it, it all looked fine. It was in completely like good condition because it was. And then she states that it doesn't work. Like it doesn't work. That's where I'm a bit confused. So she says it doesn't work and it only works when it's plugged in. Charging. So I'm like, okay, but I charge it and then use it without the wiring. Like it doesn't work like that. So I'm a bit confused there on what she means. So I obviously replied to her stating that I didn't sell it in this condition. So I put basically, hi there, I didn't sell this item in this condition, blah de blah de blah. Um, can we take this up further with eBay if you've got any more concerns? So rather than messaging me back, she just opens a case with eBay, um, which was fine. I didn't mind that because I knew I was in completely the right, I was in the right there, I was not in the wrong at all, I sold a completely working item and I was being told that it was faulty. So again, a few days go by and then I actually check my PayPal account and my PayPal account is in debt. So what I do is whenever I get money put into my PayPal account, I transfer it straight out to my bank account so no money is ever left in my paypal account it's always got a zero balance because i literally get money in there take it straight out because i don't use paypal for anything else other than selling things online or occasionally getting a few client 
payments through PayPal. But as soon as it goes into that account, I take it straight out and put it into my bank account. So I go onto my PayPal just to have a look at my PayPal and it is minus £45.91 or something like that. Um, so there I'm like, what the hell is going on here? And basically what it is, eBay are in the favour of the buyer the entire time. So they will literally accept whatever that person says, faulty or not faulty, truth or not truth, and technically just refund them. So my money gets taken from my account, but I've still not got a GoPro, and I've got the money taken out of my account. So basically, as we stand now, it's been about three weeks since I sold this. Actually, it's been like a month. Yeah, I sold this like a month ago, and basically I've got no camera and no money for it. So technically, what she has done is stolen the GoPro and got my money back off me. She's got her money back off me, but it's technically my money because she paid it. So basically I've got no money for it and no GoPro, which is a bit weird. I also sent a return label because that's what I was advised by eBay to do to get the item back. Obviously I wanted the item back after I found out that they had taken the funds away from me. So I paid £3.50 for a postage label, but I've not received any parcel back with that postage label, which I'm a bit confused about because if your item wasn't working, you'd want to send that back because it'd be no use to you. And if you've had the payment for the postage provided, what's the big deal? So yeah, that is basically that issue, and that's basically what happened. My GoPro has been stolen from me, and so has my money to go along with it. Bit of a weird situation, but I just know that I won't be using eBay to sell anything on again. Like, the customer service is just appalling, like, you just... So you just... I don't get it. So, like, my money gets taken from me, but I don't get a GoPro back. Like, fair enough, send me back the GoPro, then take the money. But w w why take the money and not get the GoPro? Anyway, it is what it is. Um, that's that, really. Got more things to worry about than that. But there, that's the story, guys. Stay off eBay. Anyway, to think more on the positive side, I have been creating my website for my company, Golden Virtue Media. So yeah, I've been creating this website for quite a few months now for my company, Golden Virtue Media, my video production company. And yeah, it's going really well. I've almost completed it. So I'm going to be releasing this website soon, hopefully, when I've finished it all off. I've just spotted a mistake now on it, actually. Wedding videos with a weird looking G. Why is that G so small, what? But yeah guys, this is a website. I've got loads of different sections on it. So we've got our home, our bow, and all about the company, the services we provide, the wedding videos, which is the main service I provide, my team, the work we have previously produced, and my contact, in contact information right there. I will let you guys know when this website is live. But yeah, it's looking sweet. That's something I really want to focus on um, after lockdown is actually completely over and I can actually get out and work again um, in my business. I just want to grow it and grow it and grow it, get some awesome new clients, some awesome work produced and spend a lot of time and effort investing and producing on the business. I think with anything guys, if you put your mind to it, you can achieve it. I'm going to be making a, another vlog soon about that and about how you can give yourself time to expand and believe in yourself. That is a key thing. If you believe in yourself, you will achieve in yourself. You will, in whatever factor that is. But anyway guys, I am going to put these blinds because it is really hot up here.
And guys, I'm gonna go off and end this vlog here. Why did that sound like one of those roses are red video things? Roses are red, I am fucking plastered. So. I've got 50p, fuck you, bastard. But yeah guys, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoying the little story of my GoPro getting stolen. Not only just getting stolen, getting stolen on eBay. I'll catch you guys all in the next vlog. Remember guys, smash a like rating, drop a subscription if you are new, and guys, I'll catch you all in my next vlog. Thanks for watching guys. Colorblind, yeah.